founder of ultravioletconsulting.com. I work as a software developer and software architect, mainly working with business applications and e-commerce systems. In the past, I've also worked with scientific information systems when I worked for the Centers for Disease Control. My experience thus is not really with video games or gaming systems, but in this video I'd like to give a brief tour of what you can do with Microsoft's new XNA gaming development toolkit. This is a toolkit that's made available free from Microsoft and it allows you to create video games that will run on Windows PCs and also you can play them on Microsoft's Xbox 360. None of what I show you today is original with me. It's just stuff that I'm following that you can find on the web and follow along with to create the same exact thing on your own. So it's at this point not a lot of creativity, just following instruction and getting familiar with the toolkit and the environment and thus becoming familiar enough that if you have an idea for creating a game you'll know what you need to do to actually put that idea into practice. So with that I'm just going to turn the camera on, uh, turn the camera around and point it at my, my laptop and my monitor and show you a couple of things I've done. First here is www.xna.com. Go to this website to learn exactly everything you need to know about how to get started, what software to download, what options you have for deploying to the Xbox 360, learn other things about the community around the software. Then once you've gone there, take a, take a jump on over to creators.xna.com. On this website you can find starter kits like the racing game or the Marblitz game. These are pre-built starter kits that will load in Visual Studio and give you all the code and all of the graphics and 3D models, all the components that you need to run the game. The best place to get started on this site is to click the Education tab, then click get, Getting Started, and follow the four tutorials that you see on the right side. These are video tutorials that also come with HTML documentation that will guide you step by step how to create your first video game. I, I've done all three of those and once I did those three I went to education tutorials and then clicked on video tutorial 4 at the bottom. This shows you how to create a stripped down version of the Space War game. It runs a lot like the old Asteroids game from way back in the day. I don't even remember that game. So once you've done that, once you've created the game, followed everything that you learned, followed all the steps, you'll end up with a mass of code like this, which obviously you can't read, but you have a, a game class, an asteroid class, a bullet class, a ship class, and various other parts like 3D models, Sounds for the engine, sounds for explosions, sounds for activating hyperspace, sounds for shooting bullets. Now let's run it and see exactly what you get. Opened on my small screen, but I'm going to move it over here. And bear with me as I try to operate the Xbox 360 controller and blow up asteroids at the same time. Missed one. You get a score up at the top which will accumulate with successful, des successfully destroyed asteroids. I can use the right trigger button to actually move and you can hear the engine. 
Ah! Well, I missed. All right, I near, nearly missed. So that's what you get once you follow the tutorial and go step by step and just each step there's a bit of code. You just have to copy and paste that code from the HTML file that comes along with the download and once you're finished you have a working game. That will leave you in a position where if you have your own ideas you can get started by planning them out and learning through the rest of the documentation that's available with the download and it's a lot of fun plus it can be a very lucrative career video games now sell more products than both Hollywood movies and now this year they're predicted to sell more than the music industry so it's a great thing to get into it encompasses a lot of different aspects of not just computer software, but you have to have music, you have to have artwork, you have to have strategy, you have to have 